Okay, here we go. Just got interrupted by a client, but that's okay. We can get started here. I didn't get it too wet, but um, if there's a lot of static and really you shouldn't brush a coat completely dry, it'll uh, just kind of be damaging to the coat. So I just put a little leave-in conditioner in there. <clears throat> Again, I'm just starting with this back leg here. Might be hard to see. Maybe I should put the camera on this side. Sorry about that, people. And uh, just breaking it down like this. Like draw a line. I actually draw an invisible line to myself and come down trying to make sure I brush again every single strand of hair. So a couple tools I use on him is the brush does all the work. This is my, my this is what I say to myself all the time and to clients. Brush does all the work, comb doesn't lie. And a uh, uh, dematting tool that and by the way you can you can shop with me so if something you like or want please uh, call me or text me and I'll get it out to you. That way you kind of support what I do and all the videos you watch, it really does, you know, you learn a lot here. So if you want to support my cause, you can shop with me and I'll mail it out to you. So I'm going through with the comb. It's nothing's, you know, it'll catch if there's a mat or something like that that I missed. And that way I can keep going. And again, I'm on a time frame, so I don't try to, uh, I don't try to take my time. I'm just moving quickly. Next appointment is an hour from 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes ago. So it's moving pretty quickly here. Got some static there. If you make the coat too wet, it's, it'll be hard to brush. So I love this sprayer. They're 12 bucks plus tax. And I can squirt it, like pump one at a time, or I can spray it um, and it sprays out like a mist. So cool. So brush. And you see how quickly I'm moving. I'm not sitting here taking my time. I'm just working. This is what this is working.
You can hear the knots and mats in there. So I'm going to demat that out. See, it's, you can hear that in there. Let me see, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see. Okay. I'm going to come back with some uh, shears here. Remember, I said always know where your end is. So there's my end. Hi, baby. Yeah. Got it out. I can feel it moving. Yay, I think I got it out. Come back in. It's hairy, hair's flying around. I can feel it on my nose, even with my mask on. It's a lot of work. It seems easy, but it's definitely a lot of work. Back and forth, the dog's pulling. And most dogs, I can tell you this, will not let you do the extent of brushing I do on him. I have no idea how he lets me, but as he gets older, I think it, was, it will change. I kind of saved the head for last. Hair is flying around, getting into my face, which I hate. I hate leaving shears on the tables, but I mean, this is a shear I've had for 13 years. Um, it's pretty dull. I use it for rare stuff, and if I drop them, I don't care. But I don't like leaving a lot of tools on the table. In this case, I want everything right in front of me because I want everything in front of me because I mean I'm going pretty fast, and it's a lot of tool usage over and over, like the same stuff, right? Because a dog that n knocks your tools off the table can damage your tools, so it's not where I don't like grooming with tools on the table. It's re very rare. I also like to keep my station pretty clean. So if I'm done using a tool, I usually put it right back up. So I'm never, I don't want to waste time looking for something. <clears throat> so I just did this uh, paw here. Before I move forward, I'm going to check it. Inside and out. Okay, looks good. Move up now. It's wild. The hair's wild everywhere. Too much static here, get that conditioned a little bit.
You're gonna come over here. Max, I can't even see your face. Let me check this area with the comb. <laughs> 